All right, y'all. It's my girl Fozzy. It's time to shine. I hope y'all are ready, because if you're not on the Fozzy train, my mission is to bring you on board. Let's get started now. Hey, it's Trey, and I got something to say. Welcome to my channel. Memorize that handle. Thanks for joining me today. <laughs> hey, y'all. It is Trey. Good to see you again. And boy, oh boy. I did a reaction to Fozia's Citizens EP back when it came out a couple of years ago, and then I went and saw her in concert here in New York later that year. When I tell you, she is a singer. She is, she is just one of those young artists. She is one of my favorite young voices in music right now. She is the real deal. And I'm upset that more people don't know about her. So when I found out that she was going to be on China's singer competition, as the show is returning for the first time in four years, let's strap in, okay? The thing I love about Singer is it is a competition between professionals. None of that America's Got Talent, The Voice, American Idol type stuff. Like that, that's cute. There is definitely a large audience for that. But people like me, we get tired of those. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I love to see professionals. And this show is just overflowing with performances by professional musicians who come from diverse backgrounds. Fozia is the first um, post 2000s artist to perform on this show and compete and she's doing very well. You add to that the blend of her Moroccan heritage, the fact that she can sing in multiple languages. She is a strong contender on this show. And as I'm recording this video, we already have two performances from her. So we're gonna watch both of them today, all right? I've already reacted to so many big stars from this show and I'm just so excited to add Fozia to the list. In the first episode of this season, Fozia sings Crazy, which is a cover of a Narles Barkley song that she has performed before. Does that make me crazy? Fozia has said that because she knows the fans are familiar that she has performed this song before, but she has said that she does this in a way that she has never performed it before. So I'm excited to see what new twist she adds to it. Now, without further ado, let's dive right into this reaction video. <gasps> Just heard the piano. I love it. Let them know out the gate. You are a musician, baby. Let them know. <sighs> the drama. I love this show so much. I remember when Softness followed by the strength. Yes. Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? I love, I'm sorry, this little like detail with the raising the finger up while she's playing the piano. That is such a, I think she's listed Lady Gaga as one of her inspirations and musical influences. That is such a, if you've watched Lady Gaga throughout the years, you know, you know that's one of her things. <laughs> I love seeing that detail. Oh, connect with your audience, baby. I'm 
living. I'm living with this. Competition has begun. That is how you kick it off, baby. I love being this girl's fan. Ah! This woman's fan. Speaking of woman, her new song, What a Woman, is out. That and the single Furelease. Oof. I forgot how to pronounce that for a second. Furelease. The debut album is coming later this year. Just get ready for it, because you're not ready for it yet. None of us are. None of us are prepared. I wasn't ready for that. Ozio, you're crazy for that. You're crazy for that performance. But you knew, you knew, you knew exactly what you were doing. That is, mm, yes, girl. That's not even the full breadth of what she can do. But she really shows off her versatility, okay? In the beginning, she said, listen, I can do that piano ballad and I can knock your socks off just sitting here at the piano. But also, I got the energy of the personality to get the crowd up and going. She is a force to be reckoned with. Let's just get that right. Yes! Oh, I'm living, I'm living for that. That, that is her first performance in China, right? Yes, they will know your name. They will know your name, baby. Next up, for the second episode, she did a cover of Adele's Set Fire to the Rain. This is also one that she has covered previously. Let's see how she does on the big stage. Ooh, beautiful gown. Oh my gosh. Oh, the 
it occurred to me about a minute into that performance, you're just going and going and going. This is a song where you have to bring it vocally because there's not much room for subtlety. I realized, I don't think I've ever heard anyone other than Adele sing this song. And I think watching this performance, I understand why. If you don't have the right technique, this song will ruin you, okay? You are in a place <laughs> where it's very easy to sing incorrectly, right? Um, you can you can just see her really taking her voice to the edge, but she doesn't look like she's straining at all. It does not show on her face because she's singing with great technique. That's what I'm telling y'all. When I tell you that Posia is a good, she's a technical singer. She understands her instrument. Knows how to use it well. Comps her own vocals on her records. Baby, I, I could go on and on about Miss Fosia, all right? But I noticed because of watching these performances back to back, okay? I think Crazy had a lot of room for dynamics, okay? Um, or, or the dynamics are more written into the music, okay? You know, there's, there's the build. There's the repetition of, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. You start really, like, small, okay? And, and then you grow into something. Set fire to the rain kind of just takes off like a rocket and it doesn't come down <laughs> until the very, very end where you just sigh out of the last note, you know? And what Fosia does so brilliantly and shows you how well that she knows how to handle this song, she sings it in the ways that you are familiar with, but then she also picks those specific moments to add her her own flares, you know, we'll do, I don't know, I don't I don't really understand Arabic scales. I, I was trained in Western music, okay? But there are definitely some of those runs and melismatic choices that I'm like, oh, I don't know where you pulled that from, but I love it. The way that she ended it, the way that she uh, flipped some notes and just took them an octave higher. And, and also, I'm really familiar with Adele going the, watched it pour, you know, and the way that Fosia just very simply and very powerfully sang the note and moved on because she's like, there, there are, uh, she found other ways to put some passion into it, okay? <laughs> this is a live performance. We're not in the studio. If we do this, watched it pour, <laughs> we're going to have to do it. <laughs> and, oh my gosh, that was gorgeous. And she honestly... That's a song that it's 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 hard to stay on top of the notes. If I did not know that she placed first this week, I would be nervous for her. Just because of what a difficult song that that is to nail. But it looks like her risk taking uh, paid off and she knew what she was doing better than I would, certainly. So that's why she got first place with this baby. I so she got second place in the first week and she got first place this week in the second week. So I I have a good feeling that Fozia is going to be in this competition for a while. And I'm so excited to see where she takes us next, y'all. I hope that you come along for the journey. I'm going to be watching these performances. Y'all can come along with me whether you want to or not. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Send me more stuff to react to, and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye!